Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today we're in Buffalo, New York. I've come to Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, home to a 151-rank Parsons organ. Now, this instrument was built by Moeller uh, over the course of several decades, uh, and the Parsons Organ Company has taken out the chancel organ and restored it. Parsons Organ is located in Canandaigua, New York, and Matt Parsons of that company is here today to talk to us about the history of this instrument. So Matt, thank you for uh, coming out this morning to uh, Holy Trinity Lutheran Church um, and to uh, show us this wonderful Parsons organ. Um, but but I, tell me a little bit about the history. I know it has a lot of details in its history. Well, in, in the 1950s, Moeller put in a 50-stop instrument. For over 60 years, it was added, 100 stops were added to the instrument, including a 50-stop gallery, size of normal church organs. Yeah. And uh, in about two, 2014, Parsons was asked to give a to uh, analyze the organ, see what it needs, and we found that since there was chess added on top of chess and, and you know, maintenance access was almost impossible, we basically said we'd like to start over. And uh, instead of re-leathering an electro-pneumatic chess, which you have to do every 50, 60 years, we said we want to put everything on slider chess, which are uh, you know, substantially less, less costly to restore. So we were able to take everything out and start from scratch. And, and you know, f how could we fit everything onto slider chess? And you know, some of the high, there are some high pressure electromagnetic chess, but we were able, basically, able to start from you know square one on how to lay out the instrument so it could be um, easy to maintain and more comprehensive. And we did little things like ex expanding, you know, tone tone chambers and tone channels so the organ would speak out into the room and just redesigned everything so it was practical. And one of the most important things for me was that it's fun to maintain. <laughs> well, with an instrument that grew over so many periods, there must have been different tonal ideas at play in such a, such a big instrument like this. How did yeah, you bring so, it all together? So yeah, so the, uh, as you know, the uh, tonal, uh, tonal ideas changed the decades. So, so it, it kind of mixed with the original molar specs and then in the 70s and 80s, Moeller added the gallery in the 80s, so they added the positive division in the main chamber in the 80s. So, so just not very, uh, not very comprehensive idea. They did have a, they, you know, they they kept having someone say, "I want to spend money on the organ," so they just kept adding and adding, which was good for, good for everyone except the guy, the poor guy who had to maintain it. <laughs> <laughs> so maintenance and access was an important uh, feature in, in yeah, the redesign. So I, I think everyone agrees if, if an organ can't be maintained, it, it won't stand the test of time. You know, it's just, you have to keep everything working. And if, if it's not fun or you're not able to keep it working, it's gonna fall into disrepair. When I was looking at the specification of the organ, it really feels like it's two separate organs, the gallery organ and the, the chancel organ. And I don't know if that's how Moeller envisioned it when they put that back there, but how did you incorporate what are essentially two complete instruments together as one? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to, understand what they were thinking but you know that the whether it was a surround whether they wanted surround sound or they just you know they had they had the donor and they had nowhere else to put it so they who, who knows what they were thinking but uh in in phase one of this project we were able to go through and start from square one and make everything easy to maintain and have you know one tonal designer plan out the entire project phase two will be the gallery that the, the gallery is still original molar chests that are that are unfortunately failing due to their age so so if someone's listening to this wants to help fund a <laughs> another project you can call holy trinity you know who to call <laughs> Now, demonstrating 151 ranks is a big challenge, and here to take it on is Ivan Boznar. He's a doctoral candidate at the Eastman School of Music, and he'll take us through these stops one at a time and show us what they sound like all together. Well, I'd like to thank Ivan Bosnar from, for joining us today. He's going to be demonstrating the organ, and uh, we've known Ivan for a long time, and he's a 
wonderful organist. We're going to start today, Eva's going to demonstrate the swell eight foot principle. <laughs> And you can keep building up, okay. building up from there. So here's where the four. Then let's go to flutes. There's the eight foot roar flute. Four foot flute. Eight and four as some other combinations, which is cornet, the composé, uh, and I'll accompany it with uh, eight foots on the grate. And then uh, there is also Vox Humana, which is called Antrophoglorosa, which is an interesting name. <coughs> and here it is with the tremulant. And then strings, here's gamba eight foot. Then there is also flute and flute celeste. And then some reeds. Um, for example, let's start with oboe. The next one is the trumpet. Trumpet can be also demonstrated as a solo stop. Um, if I do it like this.
and there is also the Fagot 16, which I'm going to use with the trumpet and with Clairon 4 to get the read chorus of the swell. I can also, as the last thing, demonstrate the build-up of the swells. So now we can, we can move on to the grade. I did want to point out that the swell great choir, positive and pedal are in, in the same chamber as you're uh, looking at the church on the right. And then on the left above Yvonne is the grand choir and solo. And uh, so yeah, let's hear the, the great eighth principle. Okay, here it is. foot
some foundations. Um, here is the harmonic flute. foot stopped the pacing. Continuation to add, I'm going to add the Gemshorn 8. Just the reeds, trumpet eight. So next, Ivan will show off the choir division. We can start with the viola pomposa. <laughs> I'm going to add the viola celeste to that.
Dulciana. Und Amaris. Dann Concert Flute. To the flute, uh, there's the well, there's the four foot flute. going to do a uh, viola pomposa with the flute, fugara 4, principal 2 and the mixture. I'm going to demonstrate the Judah clochette with concert flute 8 and I'm going to accompany it with the flute on the swell. First one is the clarinet. Good bass clarinet. Then the petit trumpet, or petit trompet, eight foot. We added a uh, Skinner style tuba in honor of the uh, organist Jimmy Bigham, and we uh, we named it the Bigham Tuba. Hear this. So Moeller added a 17 rank posy division and that is currently on the fourth manual and it's a very, very colorful division. We can start with the eight foot principle.
8 foot gedekt, which has a lot of speech. To that, I can add the Varigo. Here is the Trister Regal. Holtz Regal 8. Then I'm going to do the 16 and 8 regals. Or, sorry, that's the 4 foot torsion. Here is the. Let me just see how this sounds. Uh, Reg Trichter Regal and four foot flute. And maybe principal eight and Rorschau my four. Mm, here's the Holzkadekt eight with Trichter Regal. <coughs> Eight and two, Gedekt and Super Octave. <coughs> uh. So the, uh, the Grand Choir and, and Solo Division is located above the organist. And uh, let's start with the uh, eight foot Flauta Mirabilis. Orchestra, which has two, two ranks. Another box humana with the tremulant. of tower balls. And 
corno di bassetto So the, uh, the Grand Choir was a, an added division by, by Moeller with uh, lots of loud, bright stops. <laughs> mixture. There is the Fistula Canora, which is the big flute. Horn, which is a funny name for eight foot trumpet. So there are two shamads in this instrument. Uh, in, the, uh, in the front, there's a shamad for, for when you need that one pipe to overpower the entire 150-stop instrument. So here it is. And then in the gallery, there's a uh, less abrasive stop. We're going to demonstrate the pedal division now. There are 10 in independent stops and a lot of borrowing from the uh, manual divisions. We can start with the 60-foot uh, the diapason. the furniture and here is the 
open wood. And then to read, there is the uh, 16 foot bombard. <laughs> harmonics 32 which features a uh, 16 foot trumpet in the second octave of the pedal so I can show and then to the bottom there is a grand harmonics which is basically a dominant 9-7 chord and to demonstrate of the great it is the same idea and that basically supports through Overton series the 32. In the in the 1980s, Moeller added a 50 stop gallery instrument. It's a three manual instrument. Uh, you are able to play the entire instrument from eight preset master generals. Why don't you start with the uh, gallery great? Mm -hmm. Principle. So here's the etude principle. Four foot to that. trumpet and 16 for Dulcian the gallery swell Next to that. Here is the Erzähler. Shut two ranks. Uh, let's go to Bobo.
Schoenstimme with the tremulant. The gallery does have a choir division. It's 100% digital, so we'll quickly move on to the group positive division. So here's the board on eight. Divia Silvestris four. Add to that two foot block foot. And then also one foot block line. This is just board on eight and septim or sorry, septium. And also <coughs> board on eight and only the non or the ninth. together, septim, so the seventh and the ninth. One foot in between. The altera. Foot foot. And the four foot foot. And then there is the eight four two foot foot and sharp. Also, there is a glockenspiel. Okay, so here are the pedal stops. Montre sixteen. foot press down four and mixture So Ivan, thank you so much for demonstrating. This has been fantastic to listen to. Um, My pleasure. There's so much to, so much to listen to. Um, and an organ this size, it requires an uh, impressive console to uh, control it all. And I just kind of want to look and see uh, what all the, what everything does. <laughs> um, we have a number of just general pistons, certainly, mm -hmm. and divisional pistons, and even uh, separate coupler pistons, I see. Yep. Um, well, what, first of all, I see a, a series of, of pistons up there. Can you tell me what those do there above the top manual? The first three control different consoles, so you can choose whether, whether you can tell the computer whether you're using the chancel, chancel console, the gallery, or 
split. Oh, I see. So if you had, if you wanted to have two organs, the split console yep. would dis disconnect your controls from them, so you don't. Very good. Yep. And then four crescendi yep. uh, for four different setups. And then um, I see we have. It looks like cancel pistons. Yeah, they're all um, over the place all because over the place. of <laughs> the possible divisions <laughs> that you have here. So. Very good. And then I do see piston sequencer. There's a next on yeah, each manual. Yeah, there's next which is uh, on the left and on the right under each okay. manual. And also there is one over here, which right, for your foot, yeah. that's easy enough. Yeah. Um, and again, lots of pistons, uh, certainly, yeah. and reversibles uh, down there. Then the control panel here is mm -hmm. very nice. You can pull that out, and it uh, stays out of the way if you don't need to worry about that. We have, uh, I see we can move some manuals around up there. What, are, what manuals can we change? Uh, I never tried that feature, to be honest. but. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's there if you need it. I see. Uh, yeah. So it looks like you can move the grate, which would be yes. That would be the second. Yeah. If you want, let's say French romantic music, mm -hmm. you can do great positive reci. So that there's that switch. I see. There's that possibility. And then you can also you can move the top manual all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. So if you want your gallery. Yeah. I see. So grate can also go up if you want to do something solo and back and forth. So. That's, that's a little more versatile that yep. I've seen. Uh, you mentioned the pedal divide. Where? Oh yeah, the pedal divide is over here. Okay. And so then. Uh, you can choose whether the split can be on C, C sharp, on, or D, D sharp. I, I don't know. I think oh, C sharp is basically always if you're playing in D minor yeah. or something. Well, most of them I've seen they start at, at C is yeah. where it splits. So here you can actually control if you want to yeah. go up a little higher with yeah. your bass. So that's yeah. nice to, to have mm -hmm. that control. Yeah, I mean, it depends what you're playing, whether you're improvising. You mm -hmm. can just adjust it to, to what you need. <laughs> and then lots of shoes, of course. Yep. Um, so we have gallery swell is the first one, then the g gallery choir and this choir. So swell is where it is usually right, right of D sharp, and then uh, grand choir and solo. These are the mm -hmm. two divisions over here, and the final one is the crescendo. Yeah, so everything separate and easy enough to, yep. to take care of. And and then we also you can you have the ability to turn off. Um, yes. The gallery console on some of these manuals. So yep. in addition to the cancel piston, we've got a, a switch for. Does that light up? Nope. Just you have to know it's on. Yeah. Or is it mm -hmm. reversible? It tells you here. Oh, there it is. I oh, yeah. see. So when you press the gallery off, yeah. you have a light that tells you you're, you shut that off. Yeah. So that works well. OK. Oh, I can also say that um, in order, for example, this is the console that can control everything, both mm -hmm. the front organ and the back organ. In order to give you an idea where is what, there, there are these, let's say, uh, lines that mm -hmm. will divide top stops of the grate from the bottom stops of the grate, same for choir, positive, swell, and I pedal. See. So what's here on the top? controls the chancel organ, the I see. and what's below the line, that's the organ in the back. So we haven't actually divided up into chancel grade with labels. They're yeah. labeled down here, but then yeah, the but divisions are in yeah. the middle. You know, visually it's easier to you know, figure out okay. this way. I mean, just imagine if that were not here. Well, you know, true, because they're different. They're such different <laughs> lengths <laughs> and sizes. So. Hmm. Well, yeah, they've done a good job then of getting it all in a compact as they can space. It's still a very large console yeah. Uh, yeah. with a lot of controls, but it, it seems like it's, it's all intuitive. Uh, and of course, I mean, when you see all the pistons that you have here, there are generals uh, that are for this organ, then there are master generals for also back organ, mm -hmm. and then you have all possible divisionals. So as you can see, there's swell, and then there are also gallery swell divisionals, which are on the right. Oh, okay, so you do have some. Yeah, so also positive over here, root positive divisionals, so there are many options. And Matt mentioned briefly the, the master pistons, the idea that you can set gallery and chancel yeah. things here and those pistons are back there yeah, correct. so if you press master a it'll have it'll draw stops here and you can play the full organ from the back correct correct yeah okay well that's a handy way to do that and that way the rear console is the original console it's not nearly big enough to do all of this yeah and i should add we have nice lighting installed over oh, yeah. so you can no idea. easily see <laughs> <laughs> very nice um the music rack uh, is adjustable I've so noticed. yeah um it's because of all of the possible couplers and mm -hmm. additions that you have above the fifth menu. Um, you can see there are these holes over here, so you can simply pull this, move it into the lower or even mm -hmm. or the lowest Let's position. See. But I mean, this is handy, for example, if you have to just register things, and then if you have to, if you have a uh, piston set and uh, all the combination set, you can basically just lower this and then it's easier to read music. On Sunday morning when you had everything set, yeah. you can just press the button and go. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right. Hi. We're just going to sneak in the organ chamber, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. 
Gotta get through the blower room. So there, the main blower is downstairs. This is the high pressure blower for the Bigum tuba. We can start on the lower level. As you walk in, you can see the choir division, enclosed choir division. So there are two slider chests and two electro-pneumatic chests. Uh, the original molar harp is enclosed. So we start out here with the, uh, this is the judo clochette, then the uh, corian glade, you have the mixture, you have the nocturne, two foot principal, four foot fugara, viola, dulciana, and then the eight foot flute, and the viola, eight foot viola is in the very front. Um, very, very spacious, makes tuning, tuning a joy. You can see slider chest, the uh, stop action motors are underneath the walk board. So this is, this is wonderful. You can, with the, with the uh, plexiglass covers, you can actually see inside the wind chest, uh, not, as, not as easily as in Austin, but I can, I can physically see a problem with a pallet when and if there's a, a problem. And then of course under here, I'll show you the, the, the uh, electric, electric, electric pull down magnets. There's a muffler cover. So when you actually play, when you, when you play a note, you can see everything moving inside. So it makes maintenance faster and more efficient. And it just works wonderfully to be able to see the problem. And then, uh, Again, the joy, the joy of a slider chest is I can, I don't have to work above pipes, like an electro pneumatic chest. So the swell is above us, but every, all the maintenance for those chests takes place at that level. And it's a, as a, as a tuner and a technician, it's a, it's a joy to work on a slider chest. State of course is right here. The fusing is a. I love the fusing. There's a thousand fuses. It's a national electric code. This is the 16 diapason. You have the 16 trumpet here. And then behind you is the 32 foot. All of the reeds in the instrument were restored by Chris Broom, and because of his fine work and quality, the, the reeds uh, need very little tuning. They all have been restored. All the scrolls that were damaged were new scrolls soldered in, cleaning and voicing by Chris Broom to make the reeds almost maintenance free. So for the, for the nave off, we have two motors to control the shades speaking out into the nave, and that will block the sound there so you can control you can control that. And it's uh the old the old molar, you know, you used to have to crawl on your belly to get to the choir. Everything is everything is very well laid out. This instead of walking up a, a, a one foot ladder straight up in the air, we now have elegant stairs to uh, to maintain the organ. The great chest has some pedal stops in it. We have the, the great sharp, pedal symbol, we have the great furniture, pedal furniture, great two foot, great two and two thirds, spill flute, gamasorm, your pedal spitz flute, uh, harmonic flute, and the great, great four foot octave, great stop diapason, and great eight foot diapason. The new Bigum tuba speaks right on into the into the nave. 
we did expand that tone opening, as you can see, about three feet. That really allows the, uh, the grape to speak out into the room. Again, we have slider chest. The, the, uh, the grape reed is on an electromagnetic chest to allow it to play at 16 and 8. As you can see, very well lit. Also, slider chest. Speaking out into the, into the chancel is the root positive. This is a diatonic layout. Let me close this door. You can see there's enough, there's enough service room up here for a, a hippopotamus to, to walk around in. There's a, you can see tractor regal. You have the three, uh, three to five rank symbol. You have your Rorschach Mai, Octave Larigo, Copper Flute, Sesqui Ultra, Holtzgedeckt. Um, one of the things we did to make, as we were able to relay out the entire organ, we removed everything. And on CAD design, we, the 3D design program, we were able to relay it out from scratch. So we, we took, to make more room in here, we took the 16 foot V alone and actually put it on facade. And uh, there, were 16, there were some 16 foot principal pipes that we were able to put on facade as well. So there are new pipes. And that just made us, that allowed us to make all the service room in the organ. And only because we were able to do this project as one big project, what was that able to happen? You could never do this in phases. It had to all be done at the same time. And then we'll go into the swell. You can see the butcher block shades really, really trap the sound very efficiently. Uh, two inch thick butcher block maple. You have your, you have your box in mana, oboe, plain Jew, tierce, two and two thirds, two foot, your triangular flute, your gamba, four foot octave, eight foot gamba, sorry, this is the celeste, gamba celeste, four foot octave gamba, you have uh, your, I think that's called the Divinair, 8 foot English open. Oh, that, so this is your Celeste and 8 foot string. So, all reconditioned molar pipe work. Um, you can see we put new tuning slides, they were cleaned, and our tonal, tonal director, Dwayne Prill, went through every single rank to even out the sound. Uh, and turn it into one, one cohesive organ. Instead of, you know, the 50s and all these decades of organs, it was put into one cohesive 2015 uh, tonal design. And on these electronomatic chests, you have the reeds so they can play as unit, unit stops. There is a, uh, as you can see in the ceiling, there's air circulation. If I can, if I can control the temperature of this stacked organ, it needs less tuning. I can't have all the heat rising. So we install air circulation, so it pulls the heat off of the ceiling and pull, pushes it down onto, into the lower. So that really helps stabilize the stacked organ so the divisions do not separate. And that makes my job a lot easier. I don't have to tune as often. I don't have to repitch seasonally, because again, if, if you can control the temperature, I don't, and you can you can keep the uh, the tuning much more stable. Go to the gallery. Yeah. So this used to be the men's room. Now it's the grand choir. And this used to be the ladies' room, and this is the solo. So they really, uh, they really use every square inch of space possible. When you walk in here, you can see this is a, this is a brand new 32 foot wall horn. Uh, 
All these chests are original Molnar electro-pneumatic chests, so it's very tight. Uh, in phase two, we'd like to do the same thing we did in the other division, put everything on slider chests so it can be more efficiently laid out and make maintenance much more accessible. Well, divisions are enclosed in the lower level on each side, and then the great five stop great division is located above. Tuning and maintenance to the great is very difficult, as you can see. We have to set up scaffolding. In, in phase two, we'll make sure that it's uh, as easy to uh, access and maintain as you saw in the, in the uh, main chamber. Gallery Shaman here is a hooded trumpet. As you can imagine, being next to the stained glass window makes tuning a little difficult.
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We have a handful of organs from Buffalo still coming your way, so you won't want to miss those. Make sure you click the bell so you get notifications. My thanks today to Matt Parsons and Yvonne Bosnar for their help in making this video, and thanks to Kristen Pomelars, the organist here at Trinity Lutheran, for letting us come in today. The Parsons Organ Company is a member of APOBA, the Associated Pipe Organ Builders of America. This is an association of pipe organ builders that upholds stringent standards in pipe organ building. If you're looking at getting a new organ, having your organ rebuilt, looking for service, uh, I recommend going to apoba.com to find a list of their member builders and to contact your nearest APOBA builder. Until next time, for streaming classical organ music, you can always find that online 24 hours a day at our three streaming stations, organlive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Brent Johnson. I'll talk to you next time.